Guys, it's me, Empress 8 Star. So let's go to Gemini, who is the twins. Okay, and their plan for you look is Mercury. Okay, now the traits of a Gemini, and these are some of the traits is versatile, flexible, fickle, they're fickle minded, flirtatious, quick witted, bright, easily bored, chatty, enjoys being busy, and has many interests. Now, they're good at communication, I know that for a fact. Um, and their air sign. They're the air sign which is always in their head, like me, Aquarius. Um, so for Geminis, they're, they need lighthearted love, excitement, versatility, and the freedom to do their own thing when they wish. Okay? The ideal partner would be the partner that is quick witted, lively, um, and is their is intellectual match and easygoing. Okay? Geminis control your urge to be flirtatious. Okay, if it upsets your partner, your emotional wanderlust, yeah. it can bring problems to your relationship. Now, if you are with the twin, Gemini, then be, be um, prepared that they are a little flirtatious. That's in their nature. Okay, I don't know if it's innocent, but um, they are very flirtatious. Okay. Now, for working career, the best careers for a Gemini is being a teacher, a writer, a journalist, a blogger, a broadcaster, a linguist, taxi driver, postal service worker, or interpreter. Okay. Um, the Gemini, your ego needs versatility and room to breathe, to share your ideas and to communicate your thoughts. Control, please, Gemini, your um, urge to flightness. Tendency to be distracted, desire to avoid difficult decisions. Okay. Um, also, your working talents talents are you're a born communicator. You love bouncing ideas off of colleagues, and you're great at networking and very versatile. You're also um, what's the pitfall for you is. You're good at starting projects, but bad at finishing them. Too chatty and easily distracted and bored. So, if you were with a Gemini, it would be to your advantage. They're going to be good, great with the ideas, but not good at manip um, materializing them, up, making them come to fusion. So, if you're with a Gemini, they have great ideas, but you're going to have to help them put that idea into materialism or into the universe or actually um, making it happen. Okay, so like I said, they have the great ideas, but they just can't get it together to actually put thoughts, motion together to actually materialize it here physically. Okay, now also, um, you're a whiz kid, brainy, clever, interested in new ideas, and fresh approaches to work. Your Mercury is in Capricorn, Mercury is in the 10th house, Uranus in Gemini. So money... Your attitude to money is, it is a passport to having fun, can easily turn a blind eye to financial problems. Now you like why you spend your money, to be in the know, to acquire new ideas, and to keep yourself amused. So you like it for money to be happy, which we all do, right? Um, so the moon, moon in Gemini is emotional needs, is variety to connect with others, to be your own person. You're nurtured by listening, chatting, cheering people up, and keeping in touch. Control your tendency to talk, be talkative, wariest, with strong emotions. Okay. Now, overall, again, Gemini is a good um, person to be with. They're very versatile. They're the twins, so they're yin and yang, so to speak. But like I said, they are good communicators. However, they come up with great ideas, but they're not good at materializing stuff. They're great flirts, or big flirts. Um, doesn't matter. They like freedom. They like to be free, and they're air signs, so they're always in the head, they're always in the ear. They're best, best uh, to work with ear magic, or to, their magic, ear magic is very powerful. So that's where they would tap into, and that's where you would tap into. So get to know your Geminis. Love your Geminis. Work with them. Do what you do. Sam Brissette Star. Please like, share, and subscribe. Send this out to any Geminis you may know. Or if you know someone who's in love, or work with the Gemini. I say thank you.